guys welcome to my channel once again and in this new video we will be learning about the time of fertilizer application the most important thing that should be remembered as a farmer as an agriculture student or if you are interested in starting your own agriculture venture in the future so the time of fertilizer application depends on the type of the crop that has to be cultivated or that is cultivated it also depends on the growing stage that the crop is in it and the nutrient requirement of the crop the soil conditions that the crop is grown on and the nature of fertilizer that has to be applied on the crop so these are certain criteria or conditions that are needed to be considered for the time of fertilizer application the fertilizer should be applied in a proper time to avoid any damage to the crop so to know about it you have to watch my video completely so please watch my video to the end to learn about the proper time of fertilizer application for different crops at different times so the first one is application before sowing so what is sowing we do not place the seed in the field that is pre-sowing so before sowing of the seed we have to apply certain fertilizers like phosphorus fertilizers like rock phosphate we have to apply it two to four weeks before the sowing so that the phosphorus dissolves well in the water that is the insoluble form of the phosphorus can be converted into the soluble form that the crop can utilize in it so this is the advantage of application before sowing now the next thing is application at sowing this is also called as basal application because if we apply the fertilizers at the time of seed sowing or just before the sowing then it is called as basal application so mostly phosphatic fertilizers and potash fertilizers like mop ssp are being applied as basal fertilizers so a part of nitrogen also applied as basal fertilizers whenever required and the most important thing is micronutrient fertilizers this should be applied at the time of sowing on the soil and should not be incorporated into the soil so when we apply the fertilizer along with the seed sowing then it uh, comes out to be very productive germination and growth for the soil the so the seed can absorb the required amount of nutrients from the fertilizer at this uh, type of fertilizer application the next one is fat application after sowing so once we sow the seeds in the field we apply the fertilizer so this is the common method which is being followed since as long and it is called as top dressing so once the crop is uh, sown we have when we apply the fertilizer then it is called as top dressing of the soil usually nitrogen is applied as top dressing of the soil in many crops and sometimes phos phosphorus or potassium is also recommended for top dressing and coming to the last one split application of nitrogen so what is split application application of nitrogen uh, in splits that is in small doses for uh, many number of times during the required at the critical stages when the crop requirement is high is known as split application of nitrogen and this avoids that wastage of fertilizer and avoid input of fertilizer in the soil so these are the four timings we have to follow based on the crop requirement crop nutrient requirement crop grown soil conditions and we have to apply the fertilizer in it so let me give you one example of a crop rice and uh, sugarcane so in rice uh, we can apply nitrogen in split doses at the tillering and panicle initiation stages and in sugarcane we can apply nitrogen in split doses at 30 60 and 90 days after planting so these are the methods by which we can apply fertilizers in different crops so having this knowledge is very useful for efficient nutrient management in crops.
and efficient utilization of these fertilizers in crop fields so viewers thank you for watching my video with patience keep liking sharing and subscribing and press the bell notification to get such latest videos and notifications whenever i upload a new video so thank you for watching with patience